I'm just playing around at the moment so I've come up with this and it isn't that pretty and it's backed as well so I'm going to show you how to do that now if you have a tub like I do I have lots of little little bits that you don't know what to do with um, but you know they'll come in handy somewhere so I've got lots of little things there and um, you're going to need a little bit of hessian now I've just got this in the shop and you buy it in a square piece um, it's about um, I think I do a 12 by 12 square and an 18 by 18 square okay so we've got plenty in the shop so you're just going to cut yourself some rectangles as you know you need the leaf size so you can do them smaller or larger whatever and then I'm just going to bend mine back slightly that's it I prefer mine like that when it's got a bit of shape to it and that's gorgeous now I did have somewhere a piece of polystyrene which as you know I never find what I'm looking for but hey ho I did this time um, and I'm just going to pop that in there yeah like that while I'm making them so what you do is you take a piece of wire now it's just thin wire that's flexible and any will do whether it be this garden wire or this one I don't know the gauge of them at all but you want something that you can actually grip hold of so what you do is you wrap it remember you need a stem as well long enough to go in your project can be cut down if needed take something round like a bottle and I'm just gonna that's long enough for me and just gonna wrap that around like that keep wrapping it and then I'm just gonna snick mine off I don't know where my pliers have gone I had them yesterday and they've disappeared but then that's me <laughs> always save your oddments because you never know that'll make a small leaf right so you end up with that now to do a leaf I just do that pull it slightly and then I'm just going to bend in the top like that it doesn't have to be perfect at all you don't you're not looking for perfection but that'll do me and that's fine now I'm using the hot glue um, and it is tricky using hot glue with wire because it oh my glue gun's gone off why has it gone off right just wait for it to warm up a little bit now I'm using a bracelet that I it was an old bracelet the elasticity had gone in it so I thought you know what cut it and use it for a bit of uh, trim so that's what I did up the middle and in order to do that as you can see they're elasticated you pull them apart wrap it around your finger grab a pin and just take out the elastic just pull it out and that releases that to a longer piece then you can use it now I need to measure mine so mine's going to be about yeah it's going to be about that so that's the piece I need I've got some little tiny flowers that I can use with diamantian um, let's have a look we want one of those I think a smaller one here's a little leaf See if we can find another leaf no, oh yeah 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 wait a minute let's see oh wrong cut oh, I've got one need to match I've got three yeah just in case because you never know you never know how you're going to decorate them but I do have some fabric leaves as well they're only tiny the miniature ones so let's have a look at this now now what I'm going to do is just to glue the top section put it on non-stick mat we do sell the non-stick mats but I think we're down to the last just do that and do leave some over the stem over the leaf itself for the stem and then I'm just gonna lift that up pop a little bit of glue over that pin that down turn that around just put the glue underneath where the um, 
wire is going to be. It is a little bit of messing about, but hey ho. Look what you're getting at the end of it. All to be different. And I don't think you can buy those in the shop. I would if I didn't know how to make them. I know that. Right, so now what we're going to do is we trim this. Just take this bit off the bottom section. Um, and then we're going to trim this. So you're going to cut it. You need to leave half a centimetre around the edge. Or a centimetre, whichever you're more comfortable with. Oops, nearly lost them. Move out of the way, mate. These strands do me, I didn't. <laughs> no pleasing me, but there you go. Right, so now we've got that. And then you can, if you want to, snip them so you know where it's going to be folding in. Um, it does make it a little bit easier. Okay. Start at the bottom, or well, start at the top. It's completely up to you. Add some of the glue, the hot glue, and fold that over. Fold it right in. Just push it in like that. If it comes out again, Dob a little bit more glue onto it. Okay, like that. And then I turn it round and start again at the bottom section. Folding that over as we go. Because, you see, you get strands, so you have to be careful. Don't do too much at once, you know. No point in being clever or thinking, oh, I can do this. Just take your time. Just get that how you want that to be. Now, I can fold this over. Not a problem. Like that. And squeeze that in. And that's the leaf section. And then this bit, you can just trim. Okay, so you've got that. Then you take this webbing, and we do sell this in the shop. Nearly everything we have, we sell in the shop, okay? So, um, just run along to the shop. And as I've said before, if you want things that's in the shop, and that things do sell out fast at times, um, you can put them by. You can ask me, send me an email via the shop, to put it by for you and I will do that then all you do is pop that on take your little dobber because I'm not touching that I'm not stupid and uh, just dob that on until it's dry and turn your leaf round and then you trim round it And that seals that in. It will not come undone. And you've got yourself a perfectly good leaf. Okay. Didn't take long, did it? You get blathered, of course, in glue. But that's the fun bit. There we go. Right. So now we've got that. I'm going to attach this. Now I'm going to use glossy accents. When you put hot glue to metal, it comes undone. So I use glossy accents. Let me just get rid of this. Mine's so dirty inside. I don't know what it's had inside it. And I'm just going to do a row of glue. You don't need much. It soaks in, of course. But you need enough. I'm going to take 
my trim now i haven't done mine so that it goes right to the bottom but i have done it so it goes to the top yeah like that because i'm going to put trimmings on it so oh you want to go there dear i'm going to pop that on using the hot glue and it's also got that underneath as well now you can only decorate one side of it or but it doesn't matter it really really doesn't matter um i'm just going to go both sides now i just pull that out a little bit like that uh, i'm going to put a little tiny one in as well and i think i'll put it on this side these are just acrylic roses and then i'm going to add a leaf um let's add a leaf here like that oops now that was my fault it is starting to dry and i caught it with my finger that's it i'm also going to put a leaf just here like that tilting it up and one just there like that but i'm also going to add a couple of pearls but i only want the tiny seed pearls i do say it a lot i've no room i haven't I've got a little pink pearl here, which I'm just going to pop in. It's a seed bead, but I'm I'm fine with that. Uh, let's have a look. Nice little pearl. And put one here. These are really so pretty, and they look fabulous on your projects I'm also going to put a pearl in here I think yeah let's find a nice pearl like that yeah don't they look gorgeous and that's all you need to do and then I'm just going to Pull this one back and bend the tip because I like mine bent I don't like them straight so there you go oh now I, now I need more of those leaves on there <laughs> oh so I've got to find them let's have a look I have my little pot here I'm going to find some more leaves I don't like them Although we've got a couple of, no. I've got some in here. I made that out of the way. Yeah, I've got it. I'm just like that, me. I'm off like that. Let me take that one out. Like that. Yeah, they look better with the green leaves, I have to say. You know, you've got to use up these uh, miniatures somehow. I've got some on my glue gun. Um, I want to put one in there. I think what I'm going to do is to take that off a minute. I don't, I need to change that one. Yeah, that's what I needed to do and pop on one of these oh now you can easily make these leaves yourself you just need a little bit of clay and a bit of patience i need one more it's got to be the same color though yeah there we go and I think what I'm going to do 
is to pop one coming out of there like that that's it it just needed that bit of greenery see so i hope that's helpful i mean they're different shapes anyway um but go and play best thing about it crafting <laughs> thanks for watching take care and i'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now